Hello and welcome to today's teen craft. Today we are making these awesome tie-dyed Sharpie coasters. They are super easy, they look super fun, and they don't take very much time at all. So you can make a set of these for your friends, for your family members, for gifts, for whatever reason, fairly quickly, and they look so awesome. All you need is a tile, this is just a normal glazed tile that I got at the local hardware store. I think they're like 19 cents or 25 cents or something. They're very cheap. A plain tile, you will need some Sharpie markers, any colors you want. You will need some isopropyl alcohol. This is important. It needs to be 91% isopropyl alcohol. There are different percentages, but for this particular craft, you do need the 91%. That's important. You also need something like Q-tips. You could use an eyedropper. Um, anything to try to get the isopropyl alcohol onto the coaster. You'll also need, if you'd like, some clear acrylic sealer. You can use something just to seal the coaster to keep it waterproof. Also something that I am doing is I'm adding some feet to the back of the coaster. Um, I just have a little bit of felt here. I'm going to cut into strips and hot glue that on. That is all you need, so let's get started. Set the example aside. All right. So we'll go ahead and start with our tile. I will probably go ahead and glue the feet on first. I'll just cut off some squares. This is not exact science by any means. I'll do one for each corner. Decide where I want to put them. This will help make sure that your tables don't get scuffed when you use the coasters. Okay, so we'll just put a little hot glue. Woo! On those. Of course, it doesn't matter what color felt you use. I just happen to have gray. There we go. One more. Ta-da! There we have coaster feet. Wonderful table is now protected. All right, the next step is to choose what colors you would like to color your coaster. I think I might go for some warm fall colors, maybe some sunset -y type colors. And this next part is super, super easy. You just randomly color wherever you'd like. You can make splotches. You can make stripes. You can go all Pablo Picasso if you want. You can literally do whatever you'd like. I am just kind of going with a, oh, I don't know. Cubist? I I don't know. I don't remember my art history class. Oh, but there's just a lot of drawing, scribbling. Once we put the once we put the isopropyl alcohol on there, basically it's all going to tie-dye effect together, so it won't matter what it looks like. You know what? Let's put a little blue in there just for fun. Ooh, a light blue, that's nice. I'll throw a little 
blue around the corner there too, just for fun. All right, here's my modern art piece. Ta-da! Next, we'll take the isopropyl alcohol. And what I will do is I will kind of get the Q-tip wet and start dabbing some of the isopropyl alcohol onto the coaster. I'm trying not to touch the actual coaster as much as humanly possible. I don't want to get colors on the end of my Q-tip. However, you can totally do that if you want. You can see there's a little bit of orange now on there. I did bring a lot of Q-tips just in case I needed to do that. If you get a decent amount of isopropyl alcohol in one spot, an idea that you can use would be to kind of tilt the coaster. And you can see I've got some blurring going on, some splotches. That's exactly what I'm looking for. I'll try to put a little bit more in the places that aren't getting that tie-dye effect yet. You want to try to keep your isopropyl alcohol to a minimum, however, because the more you put on, the more your ink is going to run, your Sharpie ink, and the more that runs, it may end up kind of dissolving and you won't have that cool color effect that you're looking for. Of course, if that happens, you can just wipe it all off of the coaster and start fresh. So you really can't break these. Let's put a little more. I don't really want to see my brush strokes if possible. Okay, it looks like I can still see brush strokes right there, so I'm going to try to put a little more up there. I don't know. That's pretty good to me. Maybe just... Woo! That does not look half shabby. I really kind of like the way it bubbled in the corner, and my blue just turned into a kind of light green mist in that corner, which I think turned out really nice. I think I'm gonna call that a day. Of course, like I said, if you end up not liking your design or it looks really weird afterwards and you just really don't like it, just take more isopropyl alcohol and get rid of all of the paint from or the Sharpie marker and you start all over again. So once this dries a little bit, it's still a little bit wet. You can still see some bubbles of the alcohol that hasn't evaporated yet. Once that evaporates, you can use the acrylic sealer, take it outside, make sure you shake the bottle or follow the instructions on the back and just seal it with one coat, maybe two of the acrylic sealer. And then your coaster is completely ready to use. Make a set of these, a set of four or six. This would be an awesome gift for anyone. Perfect to sit next to the pool when you're drinking your Coke. It's a great summertime craft that you can make. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed today's craft and see us next time for more fun virtual teen crafts.